Hey, good morning, folks. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. We have a cold front heading through the state. Eh, rather slow. It's going to take from today in the western part of the UP to uh, uh, tomorrow afternoon in the far southeast part of lower Michigan to move on through. And so with that cold front, pretty good chance of thunderstorms at any one spot. And a small chance that some of those could produce isolated severe wind gusts. So that's where we'll start is with the severe weather threat. But first, hey, good morning to Frank Griffiths. Thanks for watching. And Chris Warner from Mount Pleasant. Good morning to you. And Laura Crawford also. Good morning. So here's the severe weather threat. The green, the darker green that you see from Traverse City to Saginaw, to Lansing and the western side of the state. That's uh, what's called a marginal risk of severe weather. And you can see as they break it down, no tornado risk, a 5% chance of isolated uh, severe wind gusts out of a thunderstorm. Remember, a severe wind gust is 58 miles an hour or greater and not really much hail risk either. So the cold front, as it moves through, will likely produce some thunderstorms and some of those could be uh, pretty vigorous and briefly possibly severe. All right, so let's look at the radar forecast and show you the timing on this. And it looks like we'll get into, uh, yes, Carl, yo, I am working today. Yeah, the last uh, Facebook Live was kind of a crash and burn because uh, the internet wasn't moving. It wasn't working real well. And, you know, I don't control that. All I can do is send in the payment, just like you. So you're watching M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa with the morning weather update. If you could hit share button, I would appreciate it very much. Pamela Todorov wants to know, Will humidity go down with the cold front? Yes, and the temperatures too. So let's get on into that with the timing of the showers and thunderstorms. So what I would say is that this morning into afternoon, the thunderstorms are coming across the UP, across northern Lake Michigan. And we're at 6 o'clock this evening. So uh, Posen, Rogers City, Sheboygan, Gaylord, Grayling, Traverse City area, uh, down to Ludington, Muskegon, starting to get on the stormy side. I would call it in the first half of the evening. And then as we go to midnight, the storms... Now remember, there's a life cycle to these storms. So they reach peak, in, reach peak intensity late afternoon and early evening. And then they start to weaken after 9 o'clock at night and weaken through the night. So uh, we're looking at two and three o'clock in the morning and the showers are, the thunderstorms are now probably thunder showers at that time. You know, you can get some loud noise, you can get some downpours, but they wouldn't be severe. Hey, good morning, Clark Hughes, a former fellow MLiver, now retired and probably on a beach somewhere in the Bahamas, I'm guessing, uh, hopefully. Uh, so this is Thursday morning, 4 a.m., 5, 6, 8 a.m., 9, 10. So tomorrow morning at this time, the showery and thunder showery weather switches to the sunrise side, Alpena, Oscoda, Tawas, Greenbush, down through the Saginaw area in Flint and the Thumb and down into the Detroit and Ann Arbor area. This is 1, 2, 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So a resurgence. So if I play this back for you, you can almost get a feel for the life cycle. So we go into this afternoon and the storms increase in coverage. We go into the second half of the evening and overnight and they decrease in coverage. And then we go back to tomorrow and in the late afternoon, they increase in coverage again as they go into the southeast corner of the state. So that should give you a good idea um, on what's going on there. 
I want to show you this. This is the upper level flow, 15,000 feet. And what you're going to notice is that we get into more of a north, you know, we get more of an influence from the north. So we will be cooling down. The heights in the atmosphere uh, are lowering across the Great Lakes. This is Saturday. This is Sunday. There's a big upper low in southern Canada. This is July 11th, next Tuesday. Uh, so we're out a week next Wednesday. So you don't see the big pinkish, reddish area. Uh, I guess it, it, to the south, that's the hot dome. You don't see that building northward. So we're going to be on the moderate side as far as temperatures. We're going to have pretty much what you would call uh, wonderful Michigan weather. So here is the European model looking longer term. This is tonight. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. So you get the feel for the showers and thunderstorms going from the UP today across lower Michigan tonight and tomorrow and off. Friday is a very comfortable day if you're not a heat and humidity lover. And on the weekend, there could be a couple little batches of thunder showers, but nothing that appears to be significant. Next weather maker, we probably have to wait until the middle of next week. Also, when another cold front comes on through. So our rains are there, but they're once uh, a week or so. What time will the rain hit Gaylor, Janet, Laddie? I would say you're looking at, uh, I would say you're looking at rain in the Gaylord area, probably, you know, Possibly five, six, seven o'clock this evening. Hey, Scott Corb checking in from the Sioux. Good morning. All right, so watch the temperatures off the cold front. So we are hot today. We are we are just flat out hot again and humid. The humidity builds ahead of this. So you already notice that this morning. There's humidity in the air, a, a noticeable amount of humidity. And hey, if you could right now. Take the time. I'd appreciate it. Find the share button. Da, 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 da. Did you find it? Hit the share button. Let's see what we do uh, by hitting the share button. 260. Um, let's see if we can go over 300 or so. That would be great. I would appreciate it. Okay. So we're hot today. We're, you know, basically 90 to 95 today. Notice tonight, see where the cold front is? The cooler air starting to come in with the storms. And we go through the night. We will still be warm. Look at tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock. It's sticky in Saginaw and Flint and Ann Arbor and Oakland County, Lansing, Kalamazoo, Jackson, uh, Grand Rapids. It's sticky tomorrow morning. And then as we go through the day, you can see cooler air slowly filtering in certainly not 90s tomorrow and as we go through tomorrow night then the the much cooler air good sleeping weather as we like to call it in the weather biz right starts to shift in uh for thursday night friday morning all right this is something for the rainfall lovers uh, what does the European do as far as total rainfall on this? Quarter to a half inch, and if you get under a vigorous thunderstorm, you could get an inch of rain. Consider yourself lucky. It's not a big, real widespread soaking, uh, end of dry times type rain. And then we got to go all the way to next week, next Wednesday, before we add on another quarter to a half inch with a stronger thunderstorm producing an inch. So there's rain in the forecast, but not everybody gets something great. Now, today, low 90s, I would call it. Tomorrow, yeah, you know, 80 to 85 is going to be pretty common, but in the north, Traverse City northward, you will have cooled into the 70s. And then Friday, everybody cools down. It's comfortably warm in the south. And uh, in the 
low 70s in the north. Hey, we're about there. Get, hit the share button, please. Hit that share button. Say, hey, this is my buddy Mark Torregrosa giving me the weather. If you could, I'd appreciate it uh, very much. Um, so then here's next Saturday. We start to creep up. Next Sunday, we're back into the 80s. Next Monday, we're 85 to 90 degrees. Next Tuesday, and then remember, I told you the next rain would be on the next cold front, next Wednesday or Thursday, and back to 70s and 80s. So you're kind of getting this idea that heat will build up, we'll have a cold front with thunderstorms, and then it will break. It's not a robust rainfall pattern, um, so we're going to just kind of limp along with Mother Nature uh, spoon-feeding us uh, some rain. But uh, probably not a situation where the whole state gets a, a big dousing and we can say, okay, we're reset, we're back to not being so dry. There's your weather update. Uh, watch the storms this afternoon through tomorrow. They can be, you know, vigorous, strong to severe. And obviously you need to take cover inside if there's any lightning around. But right now it doesn't look like a major severe weather outbreak. But I'm going to keep an eye on that for you here on MLive. And thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Have yourselves a great Wednesday. you got to get used to that <laughs> messed up week.